You might be wondering, what is a DAO and how did I get here? Well, today I'm going to break down what a DAO is, why it's important in Web3, and the type of DAO you can get into. A DAO is a type of decentralized organization that has a set of smart contracts built into it. These smart contracts lay out foundational framework by which the DAO is to operate. They are highly visible, verifiable, and publicly audible so that members can understand and follow each step of the protocol. Well, how is a DAO programmed? According to consensus.net, once these rules are formally written onto the blockchain, the next step is around funding. The DAO needs to figure out how to receive funding and how to bestow governance. This is typically achieved through token issuance by which the protocol sells tokens to raise funding and fill the DAO treasury. In return for their fiat, token holders are given certain voting rights, usually proportional to their holdings. Once funding is completed, the DAO is ready for deployment. At this point, once the code is pushed into production, it can no longer be changed by any other means other than a consensus reached through member voting, hence the DAO. In short, DAO is an anonymous and transparent community-led organization that allows everyone with an internet connection to take part of a decision-making process. There is no central authority. A DAO is governed entirely by individual members who collectively make critical decisions about the future of the project. Examples include technical upgrades and treasury pooling. Through blockchain technology, DAOs can operate as a digital ledger for transactions. They are run by the rules coded within the smart contract and were made popular by Ethereum Foundation as an example of such a contract. What is the focus of a DAO? Depending on the type of DAO, DAO can have a focus on technical governance or on a treasury pooling and allocation. How to take part in a DAO? Join an NFT project that has a DAO, join a DAO Discord, and get involved. Continue watching if you would like to learn more about the types of DAOs. Timestamps are listed down below and pinned in the comment section. AMM is known as a protocol DAO and is short for Automated Market Maker. It is a type of DAO that uses smart contract protocols to bring decentralized financial services to users. It is the first ever DAO. It launched the DAI stablecoin and DeFi coin. AMM allows for anyone to actively take part in global financial system in a fully decentralized manner. Grant DAOs. In a grant DAO, the community donates funds in a grant pool and collectively votes on allocating and distributing the funds. The purpose of a DAO is to fund innovative new DEFI projects with organizations submitting funding applications. Grant-based DAOs are practical examples that decentralized communities are more flexible in funding distribution than more traditional institutions. Social DAOs. Now this one is pretty straight to the point. Though most DAOs have their own distinctive community, most are explicitly built to focus on a particular objective, such as preserving arts and culture, or pursuing projects aligned with their community values. Collectors DAO. Collectors typically pool their funds together so that the community as a whole can invest in extravagant art collectibles, each member owning their fair share. As a typical DAO, it doesn't have central governing authority and network protocols are decided through open voting systems. Venture DAOs, also known as investment DAOs. This type of DAO is where you dream big to attain the impossible. A tool designed to democratize investing, these DAOs often raise hundreds of millions of dollars thanks to rising demand for owning a portfolio we couldn't typically invest in. And while traditional investment firms are elitist and not inclusive, investment DAOs are transparent and inclusive, meaning they're often open to anyone, anywhere, at any time. Venture DAOs let us participate in the unthinkable, like investing in an entire NBA team. That is, if you want to. There truly is a DAO for everything. The point is that they remove barriers to entry for regular people to extraordinary projects. Media DAOs. Media DAOs restructures traditional media ways by allowing content to be driven by the community, rewarding content creators in the native token, and removing advertisers from the equation. Social media DAOs. Following the same pattern as media DAOs, Social media DAOs are a playground for those of us who want 
a hub to come together and socialize without constraints of targeted ads and politically charged news feeds. Therefore, social network dolls are stepping up to the plate, running on independent servers rather than those owned by large corporations. Entertainment DAOs. Entertainment DAOs, or decentralized entertainment, open a whole new creative outlet for artists within all of us. We're each talented in our own way, and I can think of no outlet more inspiring than an entertainment DAO, where great minds come together to make exciting, creative projects come to life. That concludes the types of DAOs. If I'm missing any, please feel free to list them in the comments to help others who watch this video. And thanks for watching.